Hey, Meg. Yeah, Gus? Did you hear there was a movie about a beach that makes you old? The old beach? Yeah, the beach that makes you old. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, when you think about it, every beach makes you old. Because if you tan, that's that's your skin cells in trauma. Slip, slap, slop, kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but this one especially. They did a whole movie about it. It's a new M. Night Shyamalan movie because, hey... Movies are back. America's back, baby. Exactly. You can't keep America down. God, I wish that were me. I'm still waiting on my second shot of COVID juice. I We've already made plans. The first movie that we're going to see uh, in cinemas. Once we're all uh, juiced up with the 5G potion, Henry and I and Charlie are all going to go to see Venom 2. There will be carnage. There will be so much carnage. And not even just in the film, just us, just being let loose on the streets of uh, either Norwich or London or whatever city we meet up in that's closest. <laughs> I heard that that movie was spiritually lethal, but not as spiritually lethal as the beach that makes you old. <laughs> For the record, everyone in the audience. I've recovered a little bit uh, from this because I, I am prepared for this conversation. But see, I have Joaquin Phoenix Joker disease. Um, I will start laughing and then not be able to stop until I physically can't breathe. And uh, this happens at very un- unopportune times in my life. I'll give you an example of um, one time I um, made a mistake while I was editing something uh, at the, the, the um, like graphic design place where I used to work. Uh, I was editing a photo. I meant to edit out the background. I ended up somehow accidentally tiling the face of the woman in the picture infinitely behind (laughs) her. And I laughed really, really hard. And throughout the day, I would start giggling just thinking about it to the point that my boss sent me home. (laughs) That is the Joker disease. I I am the Joker, baby. Um, Oh my god. So recently, uh, I found out that M. Night Shyamalan's new movie is simply titled old (laughs) and right now that is the funniest thing in the world to me so every once in a while i will start laughing henry will look at me and he'll say what have you found and i'll just shake my head and he'll go god damn it meg are you thinking about old again and i will nod and wheeze (laughs) fucking (laughs) fucking old it's the worst title for a movie. It is the worst. Uh, what is it with, like, horror movies need to stop doing the thing that Disney movies do, where the title is just a word. Tangled, Frozen. Tangled, Frozen, Us, Old. It, it's just it's just great SEO, you know? Like, how yeah, to be this the, thing. It's really good SEO. You go to business school, and the first thing that they tell you is, um, make your word something that is, no- make, make your movie title... Or your company name, something that is incredibly common in everyday language usage to the point that, like, nobody would be able to differentiate what you were searching. Because uh, that's that's how SEO works. That's actually very good SEO. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Henry, Henry, just, Henry just sent me a Discord message from the next room, and it was spoiler tagged, and I clicked on it, and it's just the word all. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm being attacked on all sides! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we are here because I have just seen Old, and I'm going to recount the plot, and you are going to stay composed. I am going to stay as composed this as possible. This is serious M. Night Shyamalan's back Very serious. Stairs. Very serious movie about the old beach. Yes, the beach that makes you old. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I'm going to tell you... How this goes, how, okay. how, how, how they get there, how they get old, how they get out, maybe. It all starts with a family going on vacation in this remote resort, and they do this thing that I don't like in, like, you know, a lot of standard Hollywood movies, where before the, like, horror part of a horror movie starts, they just show you really boring stuff. They establish, like, the quirks of the characters. Mm. The thing with the father of this family is that he sells insurance, so he's always talking about, like, careful, like, there's a 50% chance you'll die from tripping over a coffee table when you're on vacation. Oh, he's like Ben Stiller in that one movie. Yeah, that one Ben Stiller movie, the yeah. one he's in. I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> it It's one of those things where, like, the characters don't really have, like, characterization so much as they have quirks. It's one of those. That that seems to be, like, a Shyamalan trademark. I think the one movie, and this, this is a hot take, I think the one movie where it actually works 
is um, Lady in the Water because mm. the movie is like a puzzle made out of weird character quirks. Yeah. I, I remember liking Lady in the Water. Like, hot take. I remember liking that movie. I haven't watched it in a while, but I remember enjoying it. It's pretty decent. Honestly, like, I think it gets a bad rap compared to the other Shyamalan movies. But for the most part, when Shyamalan makes these quirky characters, their quirks tend not to be really connected to the high concept plot. Uh, and that's the case here with Old. It is one of these movies where, like, we establish the main characters. There's a mom and dad and two kids. They're having marital trouble. Uh, the kid has th- the boy kid has this really weird quirk where he'll ask people for their like name and occupation, and the yeah. girl is as we find out she's a fan of the rapper Midsize Sedan, who is a <laughs> character in this as well. <laughs> we'll get to him. All you need to know is that there's other families here. There's a uh, a doctor, his wife, uh, his mom, and their kid. There's also uh, another married couple. The wife of that married couple has um, has seizures. Everybody who comes here has like some sort of uh, illness because the doctor's wife has like uh, a calcium deficiency. Like, oh, her bones, okay. Her bones don't work too much. So this resort is like it's like everybody's got to get well here. Okay. And that's why they're there. It's like one of those places that they would send you to in the eight. It's like where they sent um the uh, who was the sister in in Little Women who had tuberculosis and they sent her to the seaside oh i yeah it's like one of those places where just sick people go there for some wellness there's fresh air out here, yeah and it's one of those things where they want a sweepstakes it's very exclusive and they get access to this uh to this special beach that uh you know nobody else really gets access to and it's uh it's got these massive rock walls and they go down through this tunnel and they all end up on this very very special beach The very special beach. Yeah, the special beach that little (laughs) known to them, unbeknownst. Unbeknownst to them, but, 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 beknownst to everyone else because, uh, the trailer was just, and the name of the movie is old. How do you spoil your movie (laughs) in one word? How do you do it, M. Night? It's one of those things where you know when they're walking onto this beach, you're like, they're all going to get old. <laughs> yeah. And um, <clears throat> so uh, the first thing that happens is that, uh, like, mid-sized sedan is already there on the beach. He, like, went there with his, his lady friend, and she swam out, and he's just sitting there waiting for her to come back. And, like, one of the first things that happens is as the family arrives – the girl is like, oh my god, that's mid-sized sedan! And she's, like, geeking out over it. And, uh, but they don't go and interact with him, because they're like, hey, we're on vacation, and he seems like he's off doing his own thing. And so, everybody's just hanging around, uh, having fun on the beach. The families, like, meet. And then, uh, the, the, the little boy swims off, and he finds mid-sized sedan's lady friend, who is now a dead body. Okay. She's not old though. She's just she's just dead. There's a difference between old and dead. So what? Like the beach didn't kill her? She drowned? It it seems like that. So they haul her up out of the thing and the doctor's like, "Oh, she's totally dead." Fun fact about this doctor, he's a little bit racist. So he's immediately like, "Mid-sized sedan, what did you do to this lady?" Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're going to tackle racism in the movie about the old beach? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Racism is an old issue. It's uh it, it continues throughout the ages. What if what if the beach like in in addition to making you be old also made you act like an old person? <laughs> it made you boomer beach. <laughs> the boomer beach. It <laughs> it makes you a boomer. Yeah. You just you just stop understanding memes and you become racist. You start you start wondering where the bottom text is. You start like really loving those hard sweets and you pull your pants up really high. You just get this uh this inclination to take a picture in a car with your shades and your stogies. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> a big racism is happening with this doctor. Everybody else is like, "Okay, obviously there's more going on here." Midsize sedan says, "She just was swimming out there like, you know, we like I have this blood clot disease." And she has MS, and that's how we started talking. And, like, we were just vibing. And then she went swimming, and she didn't come back. As everybody's, like, you know, freaking out about this, they're like, what the fuck is going on? 
uh, the doctor's mom, who was like the oldest person who was here, well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she <laughs> she dies. She dies from old. Yeah, she is the old, and she she's dying essentially from old age. Like her chest starts hurting, and then like twenty minutes later, she's dead. Wow. This beach works quick. Well, <laughs> so they they start breaking it down, and it's it's every thirty minutes translates to a year on the on the grave boat. I mean, the fucking the beach that makes you the old. The grave boat. <laughs> what is grave boat? Is it like a movie? <laughs> they said if I watched grave boat, I could see my family again. It's there. Watch it. <laughs> but yeah, it's been streaming for months now. Just do it. So one uh, like thirty minutes is a year. For everyone on the beach, the adults, they don't notice it as fast, but the kids are super hungry and they're starting to get old and they have to like borrow swimsuits from the adults because they're all growing up. Uh, like, so it's it's the young boy and uh, his sister and then also the other girl from the other family. Those are the three kids. Okay. Yep. And they started off as what? Like, how old do you think roughly? Like 10? Well, they say in the movie that the young boy was six and he was the youngest and the girl okay. from the other family also six. And then the sister is like 11 at the start. Okay. And so now as they start to age, they've become like the boy's now 12. The girl's like 16. Uh, everyone else is like, what the fuck is going? This must be some sort of infection. Like something's going on in the water or like they ate something like this is really bad. Oh, I forgot a detail of this. So... Before they went to the beach that makes you old, uh, the hotel gave them these specialty cocktails, which they, like, ordered, like, at the beginning. Uh, the kids didn't get them, obviously, but all the adults got specialty, t specialty cocktails that were customized to their, um, to their preferences. Yeah, okay. And we'll touch on those later, but it's important for now to establish that. But anyway, everybody's freaking out. They're starting to, like, they're starting to, like, get weirded out by all this stuff that's happening on the beach. And I believe the next thing that happens is that they discover that the body that they washed up on shore has become bones, like has become just the bones. And and she was skeleton and she wrote this. <laughs> yes, she becomes skeleton. <laughs> and like the like one of the smart people with them, like the other married couple who's there, one of the guys, I, I mm. don't know if they ever go into his occupation, but he's super smart. And okay. he's like, and he's like, his job is genius. His job is being smart. He's, man. he's like Wiley Coyote. His, his business card just says genius. He's, <laughs> he's also, I don't want to go there, but he's also the Asian character. So he's the smart Asian. Oof. The, the, the smart Asian guy goes, hmm, these bones have like decomposed to a certain level. Like it seems like this much time has passed with her. So dead things age, uh, living things age. They have this line about like, but how come our hair and our fingernails aren't growing wildly? And all they say is basically fingernails and hair are built different. <laughs> That's such a, like, you know, they put that line in so that nobody could be like, uh, their hair and nails don't grow. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> they put that line in just to, like, mitigate the cinema sins exactly. of the world. But I'm, I'm going to borrow a Doug Walker thing. Like, it'd be a very different movie if their hair and nails just grew like crazy. Yeah, and they were all those, like, guys from Will Please Believe It or Not with the giant nails. This would just be, like, nails. This would just be, like, like fucking... <laughs> they just grow, like, long nails into each other, and that would be the movie. That That's honestly kind of scary, though. Like, your ide the idea of your nails just getting really, really long. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's super spooky and weird, but that's not what ends up happening. But the first spooky and weird thing that does happen, other than the kids starting to get older, is that the mom, who, like I said, everyone's here because they're sick, the mom's, uh, the mom had, like, a benign tumor that starts to grow. Ugh. Yeah, and so they have the doctor do a live surgery on her th because time is passing so quickly. When he, like, makes the incision, the incision closes immediately. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. And they, they actually set this up with another scene where, like, the racist doctor, well, it's revealed that he's paranoid schizophrenic, and that's accelerating on this beach as well. So that's going to be fun. And he attacks mid-sized sedan with a knife and cuts him on the cheek, but it, it like, heals, like, immediately. And, that's so crazy. <laughs> and they're all freaked out. So this surgery scene- When you say it heals immediately, does it leave, like, a scar? It does. It does. It that's scars awesome. Up. Yeah. 
So the fucking the death stranding is going on, and everyone is yeah, like, death stranding is happening, and 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 people are try- the people have to like hold open the incision so the guy can reach in and get this tumor which <gasps> grew from like the size of a golf ball to the size of a cantaloupe in like the, uh, in a matter of minutes. Ah, <gasps> and they lift the tumor out, and immediately uh, the mom um like you know I don't know how accelerated cancer works, but she wakes up from the tumor. She wakes up from having the tumor in her, and she's like, oh, my God, I feel so much better. The, the doctor's like, yeah, your husband made a quick choice. He said, like, let's do the surgery. And she's immediately like, oh, our marital troubles are, are starting to clear up because you decided to move this rapidly growing tumor from me on the beach that makes you old. What? I'm sorry, honey. We just got to go to marriage counseling because you have cancer. <laughs> That's so mean. Was he, like, considering leaving her because she had cancer? No, he was considering staying with her because of the disease. He was... The the dad is uh, is framed as, like, you know, he's, like, trying to have fun on this vacation with these kids. And he's, like, he's like we're going to tell them we're getting a divorce afterwards, but you also should tell them about the cancer. And the mom's like, no, let's not tell them about the cancer. God. Honestly, this is very framed against the mom because the one thing that, like, the dad's not doing his part in the marriage is she is reading a book and he says... And he says, oh, you want to go play with the kids? And she goes, what book am I reading? And he's like, uh, oh, I don't know. And she's like, huh. And it's the most, it's the most nothing thing. That's very, I don't know how I, that, that, that's very Shyamalan dialogue somehow to me. Sounds like something that would have been said in The Happening. This is all very like peak Shyamalan. Like I said, very quirky characters in the absence of like, uh, the, the quirks relating back to the plot. Mm. And... And, like, the thing, too, is that it's later revealed that the mom was, like, texting another dude and maybe, like, going to have an affair. Jeez. And the dad kept it secret. Like, the dad seems like... The dad is the Chad in this situation. Like, 100%. Mm. It is written so that, like, you clearly are on his side. Uh, but even then, it's clear that he does love her and that, like, she is seeing a new side of him on this beach that makes you old. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, the reason I'm laughing is, I mean, because of that, but the real reason I'm laughing is I just imagined, I had just like a flash of, of like a vision of the future where this video is called Ruminations on Old. <laughs> this video is just going to be titled Old. <laughs> What if I just titled the video old? old. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm gonna die. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna no, die you're... so quickly because it's the old beach. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not gonna die because we're not on the beach that makes you old. <laughs> uh, so anyway, shit starts. Sh- shit keeps happening. Um, the next big thing that that goes on is that oh, right. So the kids are getting older, and the older sister is talking to mid-sized sedan, and he's, like, having, like, this deep conversation. He's, like, say, like talking to her like she's an adult. He's like, man, I just, you know, I never thought this would happen. I came here. I wanted to get healthy. Like, he says his real name is Brandon, and he's like, man, I just, you know, I, I thought I could, uh, I thought I could, you know, get back to normal around here. And yeah. the girl is just like, yeah, my mommy and daddy are fighting a bunch. And he's like, oh, right. <laughs> Ugh, I bet that's unsettling. Yeah, it's it's weird, like, because the kids will still talk like kids as they get old, and uh, it it does manage to be effectively uncanny. Yeah, I can imagine that, because it makes me think of, like, in, um, I don't know if you ever watched To Catch a Predator, but whenever they'll do, like, the sting operations, and they have, like, a 25-year-old playing a 13-year-old. There was mm. uh, there was one that was a um the actor that they got for the sting. He's like, no, nah, I live here with my mommy and my daddy, and it's so unsettling. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the sort of uh, the way this ends up feeling. And so while this is while this is going on, everyone's conditions are are slightly worsening. Everyone's getting like a, every, people are starting to have wrinkles. And meanwhile, the the young boy and the young girl, the who are both six year olds at the beginning of this, they start to like go through puberty. And uh. because they're off in their own in a tent, like they uh. end up uh, they end up hormones just take over. And the next time we see them, the girl is pregnant. Fuck. 
Yeah, the way they articulate this is like the parents go over and they're like, what is going on? And like, she's like, oh, it's okay. We were playing and I got fat. Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah. It, oh, so, it's weird. Oh. So, so this is this is when the movie starts to become like a little actually horrifying because she's she's pregnant and it starts advancing and she has to like give birth right there on the beach and they're like rapidly explaining like uh what you two did was how babies are made uh you're about to have a baby uh whoa, the and like they have like the doctor and they have everybody like you know there to like it just makes me baby. think of the opening of the umbrella academy where like the girl like instantly gets pregnant and gives birth yeah, in the swimming yeah. pool. That's such a like horrible idea. Instant prego is one of those scary things in movies that you're just like, Gah! like yeah. There's another movie. There's another movie called um like Abraxas, which has like a uh, Jesse Ventura as this alien, and he has to protect this woman who got like impregnated by his evil twin Abraxas, who's wow. also an alien, and she gives birth like almost immediately. It's it's a horrible trope. Like the the pregnancy speed run is a like theoretically, yeah, you would kind of want to get it over with really quickly, but mm. like it's also just unnatural. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just wait. So we pan around the whole beach, everybody's freaking the fuck out. Like everything bad is happening to everybody on the beach that makes you old. Everything happens so much. <laughs> Everything is old so much. There's a big panoramic shot. It's actually, like, really good cinematography. Like, it gets, like, a little bit of, like, what everyone's <laughs> doing. And then it goes back to um, uh, the girl. And as everybody's going over to see the baby, uh, the baby has already died of neglect within seconds. Jesus and, Christ! And the baby is, like, like it's just wrapped in a towel. And everybody's like, what the, what the fuck is going on? And, um... Over the course of the movie, the baby's character arc is born, dead, turns to dust. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we've we gone to 11 in the beach that makes you old. No, in <laughs> fact, we haven't gone to 11. We've gone to 22, and then to 32, and then to, then to 45. And then to 95, and then to dead. Yeah, because <laughs> the beach makes you old. Because the beach makes you be old. What happens to, like, um... It's so weird that, like, mm. do you ever see, like, animals on this beach? Like, do you see, like, a seagull landing and then decomposing? No. No, there's not. There's no. There's nothing like that. It's just humans. And um, by this point, everybody's starting to show wrinkles. The, the girl is freaking out because she's just lost her kid. And the... Fun fact, the father of uh, uh, between the two of them, the one like who was the little boy at the beginning of this, he aged into Alex Wolf. Okay. Hereditary slash Naked Brothers band up in this up in this beach. Wow. Yeah. Uh and he's doing a great job. He's doing a really Oh, he's good just job. great though. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot to tell you why they can't leave the beach. That's Why can't they? Detail. Yeah, I <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of took it for granted that they were trapped. I didn't think to Ask why they didn't leave. Okay, so the reason they can't leave the beach is because whenever you try to walk out through, like, the exit to the beach, like, the, the stone tunnel through these giant rock-like things surrounding the beach, you end up blacking out and then automatically walking back to the beach and falling down on the ground. Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I mean, I always like the I always like the sort of horror trope of, like, you open the door and you think you're going to be outside, but it spits you back to where you yeah. were. They don't show the people walking back, so it just seems like they just, like, they walk in and then they respawn on the beach. And they, they tell them, like, other characters say, like, oh, you just walked back out, but it, it's just, like, they show it a bunch of times as them just, like, go in. Boom. <laughs> there they are. Old beach. <laughs> so the explanation for this, which um, smart Asian guy gives the explanation of, uh, is he's like, okay, these rock walls, these big rock walls, they uh, create a like it, it's the rocks they're these minerals that are making us old and when we try to walk out through the minerals it it, it it gets accelerated and it's like deep sea pressure our bodies can't handle it and they have to like sort of revert back oh to the other thing because it's the time equivalent of deep sea pressure oh my god is the way they yeah <laughs> okay do you know what this is making me think of i'm gonna tell you um mm -hmm. 
So do you know the guy from the meme that's like, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens? Yes. Giorgio Sucolos? Yeah, um, yeah. He had a show. Uh, I don't know if it's still on, but for a while he had a show on the History Channel called In Search of Aliens with Giorgio Sucolos. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the episodes, he goes to Loch Ness and he comes up with an explanation Oh, for the no. Loch Ness monster that has lived <laughs> rent free in my head for about a decade now, and um, basically he says that the quartz deposits at the bottom of the lake create temporal anomalies. <laughs> so when you think you're seeing the Loch Ness monster, you're actually just seeing back in time to when dinosaurs were alive. Uh Uh-huh. And what I love about that explanation for the Loch Ness Monster is it is the opposite of Occam's Razor and it makes, like, it makes all of the sense but also no sense at all. Because on the one hand, it's like, well, yeah, that would totally explain why nobody's ever found a dead Loch Ness Monster. But on the other hand, that's not how that fucking works. (laughs) Right. And the other thing, too, is that, like, isn't if Lo- like Loch Ness is inland, and isn't the species that they think it is like the plesiosaur, the way it's always depicted, isn't that an ocean-dwelling like reptile to begin with? Listen, I don't know. I the Loch Ness monster could be any number of things. It could be a type of uh. Well, actually, no. The thing is, I think Loch Ness might actually be connected to the sea by a river. Oh, okay. okay. So one of the theories is that it's like a type of seal or whale that comes up through the river oh. from the ocean. <laughs> I've I've got it. So uh, maybe it is an old reptile, and the Loch Ness is just the lake that makes you never old. Oh my God! It's the reverse old. <laughs> yeah, it's the reverse old. It's the if sequel, they... young. It makes you go back in time to when there were dinosaurs. Wait, if you bring bottled Loch Ness like lake water and drink it on the beach that makes you old, do you level out and become young? Like, if you reversed the polarity of these ro- of these rocks, could you create like the the beach of youth? Maybe, maybe, but that's not what ends up happening. <laughs> the beach, the beach is is um these minerals are the big problem. And at one point, characters discuss, like, what if we put a metal tube around us to cancel out the rays and walk through the tunnel? Where are you going to get a metal tube, mate? That's exactly You're what they You're on the say. beach that makes you old. <laughs> There's no metal tube on the beach that makes you old. Because <laughs> if you put metal on it, I assume that if you put metal on the beach that makes you old, it would just rust. Exactly. There's even there's even a like line of like a bunch of metal objects that were like left there by previous people who were on the beach that makes you old that have like <laughs> rusted. Got old on the beach. They've all they've all rusted and the kids are playing with them like way at the beginning and the mom's like don't touch those they'll give you an infection. And so at this point old racist doctor has become so paranoid so schizophrenic he is he has now like started to develop dementia maybe too cuz he's old. <laughs> cuz he's old. <laughs> cuz he's old. Ship boys, ship boys. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> but anyway, he commits a murder. He kills midsize sedan. Oh shit! Yeah, and they they have to take the knife away from him, and they leave him in this little corner of the beach where he's like wandering around, and and just just he's he's being basically, old. He's being well, wandering around and being old. How do they like? How? Yeah. So they don't have any food, right? So okay, here's the explanation they give for that. The kids needed to eat, and the kids ate all the food because their biomass is growing. Where the adults? Oh, the ad- okay. So the adults, because their biomass is not growing, they're not hungry. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But the kids are growing really rapidly, so they're hungry. Yes. A lot. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things where that's just there for cinema sins. Like. Yeah. So anyway. Old racist guy is out of the picture. Um, Everyone's freaking out. They're like, okay, now we have three dead bodies between the woman who died at the beginning, the mom uh, of the Wouldn't it be fucked up if, like, the kids had to eat the dead bodies? Uh, They don't. They don't. That'd be fucked up, though. It would be fucked up. Man. The young girl who, like, has been a mom and now not uh, starts climbing the rocks to try and get out, trying to climb over the whole rock wall. And they're like, yeah. and they're like, oh, uh, that might be a way out. But what if she passes out up there? And uh, she does. And instead of being able to climb back down, she just falls to her death. Shit. Yeah. 
So wow. The cast is dwindling really fast, and just so that like more of them can go, uh, they they earlier in the movie they established there's fast currents. It's too far to swim anywhere, like to try and get around the rock walls. Uh, but smart Asian man is like, look, I'm in shape. I'm gonna try swimming. It's the best hope we got. And mm. he goes. And like a scene later, he turns up dead. <laughs> Everybody in this movie, like, I don't know what I expected from the fucking old beach. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it feels like this is going to be a movie that kills off everybody. People start dropping like flies, like very quickly. Shortly after this, uh, the uh, the smart guy's wife uh, has has rigged all the pool noodles together as some kind of like raft. And she's like, I'm going to swim out with these pool noodles and I'll go somewhere because I got to talk to my sister because... We were fighting, and it's stupid. Everything seems stupid now. And as this is happening, her medical condition was the seizures, and she goes into those, and she has, like, multiple seizures in a row and dies. Wow. And it's really fucked up because they show her starting and stopping and then dying. Ugh. This movie feels like it would be kind of depressing to watch after a certain point. It is was a little bit. Because you're just, like, <laughs> speedrunning all of the possible tragedies. This is, like, this is, like, playing a game of The Sims on, like, super fast forward <laughs> yeah. and just letting them all die. Because it's a beach that makes you old. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the number of times... I think, like, the more you explain this movie, the less funny I find the title. Because I'm, like, engaging with the film as its own thing now. But I guarantee you, like, tomorrow I'm still going to be like, <laughs> old. <laughs> but right now, in the moment, I'm like, yes, okay, so. Very serious, very serious. Very serious. So, at this point, the mom and the dad of the kids have kind of started to really. <laughs> Sorry. False alarm. <laughs> <It's> still... <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I lied to you. It is actually still really funny. <laughs> uh, it, it it's the beach that it is. It's a beach that makes you old. But it's also a beach where the mom and dad are starting to reconcile their differences. Okay. They're even saying shit like, "I forget why we wanted to get off this beach." You know, like it's it's nice here. Like you know, and I'm I'm glad that you're here. And like the dad at this point confesses that like you know he knew about the texts. And and the mom has become a little bit deaf, so he's like saying it real close to her, and it's nice. And Wait, it's when you say the dad, are you talking about the racist doctor? No, 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 no. Not okay, me. he's a different guy. He's a different guy. Uh, there, okay. There's there there's uh there's the main family. There's the racist doctor family, and like the that's where the other kid came from. Okay, and then there's just an Asian guy and, as well he, with his a wife. Asian guy and his wife, and then mid size sedan was also here for a okay. brief period of time. <laughs> okay. Um. Life, life comes at you fast on the beach that makes you old. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> it really, literally does come at you very fast. And before you know it, you're old. And that's the name of the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> before, before you know it, you're M. Night Shyamalan's old. <laughs> you are, before you know it, you're old 2021. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> the kids find this journal where a guy expl like a guy who was here previously explains what was going on with the rocks, like says he's scared, says like he thinks the the like he he does describe like a seagull like aging to death on the beach, like um in this journal. You don't get to see it, but they find the journal and they find names and addresses of a bunch of people who were on the beach before. Uh, so they have evidence that if they get out of here, they can expose the beach that made you old. So wait, who are they exposing? Well, we'll get to that. But anyway, night falls, and uh, that's bad because if they are here for 24 hours, that's 50 years. The parents are basically, they're like, you know, they're starting to get too old. Um, and so is racist doctor. Are they man. being replaced by, like, d different actors as they get older, or, or is it just, like... The adults are just like in age makeup. Yes, that's okay. what it is. Like, as is it the, good? Uh, the the age makeup is good because they also do age makeup, I believe, for Alex Wolf and like the other actress who's playing his sister, and it's convincing. Like, interesting. Yeah. So, um, the racist doctor, uh, like, he's he um attacks the like main couple, the mom and the dad, 
He attacks them, uh, and he's cutting them with the knife. They're not in any real danger of death, though, because he's slashing wildly, and the, and the things keep scarring, and they keep healing. But it's yeah. still very distressing, because it's a man cutting you with a knife. The mom says, like, go hide, kids. Like, we'll handle this. And the kids run off to go hide. And as they're running off to go hide, they end up finding the uh, the racist doctor's wife, the girl's mom, the one with the bone condition. Okay. And they find her, and she's screaming, and she's freaking out, and she's throwing rocks, but her bone density is declining, and she ends up dropping a rock on her arm. Oh! It's real gross. And uh. as she, like, is struggling, like, coming at them, trying to be like, don't look at me, uh, she, like, she, like, ends up breaking, she ends up, like, pretzeling all of her limbs. Uh, she doesn't have, like, anything to, to get calcium while she's on this beach. So her condition just advanced, and she dies as a, uh, a pretzel of bones, essentially. Wow, that's harrowing. It's, th- it's, like, it's one of the most disturbing kills in the movie. And this is after they've already had to bury the dust baby. Fuck this movie! <laughs> it's rough. It's it, rough to be it on the beach. Sounds that rough. Makes you old. <laughs> yeah. So, so the fight is still going on with the racist doctor, and the mom shows up, and she actually weaponizes the beach by cutting the dude with one of the rusty pieces of metal. <gasps> so he gets s- super speed run tetanus. Yeah, mega tetanus. Just like Dean Winchester. <laughs> He gets, yeah, yeah, he gets, he gets fucking super tetanus out and dies, like, there, just being fully consumed by the rust. Oh! And, uh, and he's out. Does that happen to you if you get? No, it would over the course of many years, but, like, not, not, like, not like that. It happens because of the beach. The beach making the mold. Yes. Yeah, okay. So... (laughs) So the mom and the dad, they have, like, some peaceful final moments, and they die, and the sun comes up, and uh, the sun comes up out of the cave. And, Alex Wolf. Yeah, Alex Wolf comes up out of the cave, and uh, he and his sister are, like, 50 now, and they're like, man, should we even try to leave anymore? Like, they're still kind of thinking about it with kid logic. They're sitting there, and they're like, you want to build sandcastles? And they have fun building sandcastles. And they're like, man, we were kids yesterday. We used to think we were so smart. We couldn't even figure out this, like, code that this other kid on, like, a different beach. A a kid on a different beach, like, when they were, like, just at the resort in the beginning boring part of the movie. Yeah. A kid gave them a little code, uh, like, a coded phrase. And uh, the sister's like, try solving it now. Like, you know, you're smarter now because you're, like, you've got a 50-year-old brain. And the he solves the code... And it says, my uncle doesn't like the coral. And they realize that, like, when the tide is lower, there's a coral reef on the beach that makes you old. And they're thinking, they're thinking, well, wait a minute. If the coral reef is a passageway out, the coral might insulate us the same way a metal tube would from these minerals on the beach that make you old. Okay. Yeah. So they have their escape plan. They're like, we're going to swim out and we're going to escape this thing. So they walk out to this coral reef and they dive in and they take that journal with them and they start swimming down through this coral reef. And uh, sure enough, the effects of the minerals are blunted, but the sister gets like part of like um, her shawl caught on one of these coral things. And the brother goes back to help her and they're struggling and it cuts away and they've presumably drowned. It cuts away from them to um, the resort. And at the resort, there's, like, a pharmaceutical testing lab. And... Oh, oh boy. In the pharmaceutical testing lab, you get a uh, fucking... I believe it's Braun from Game of Thrones, the, the, the mercenary that Tyrion hires. It's that actor. He's also in Black Mirror in that one episode. I have never watched either... Well, I haven't watched either of those shows. It's okay. He's here, and he's he's saying... Hey, good job. Test number 73 went really well. We uh we tested these uh these medicines which was the which was the special cocktails that they got at the hotel. They okay. put medicine for all the like chronic conditions that these people had. They put medicine so did in the, the cocktails. Did the pharmaceutical company make this beach? No. No, they say we found this beach. Nature put this beach here for a reason and like 
We oh. must do what nature wanted us to do. Shyamalan! Yeah, so they said they say that the, the minerals in this beach give it its power and that like by discovering it with this uh, thing and setting up this resort here, they'd be able to get people who were rich and who had chronic conditions who could pay for this these expensive tests. And uh, they say, yeah, this um, this woman here who was in the test who had who had like chronic seizures, had them all of her life. She didn't have them for the equivalent of 16 years because of our medicine. They're like, so let's go and make the most of these people's deaths by making this like life-saving medicine for everybody. And uh, they're oh just all God. like, this beach is hype. It does a good job. Fucking, yeah. So they have a, a bit of a cabin in the woods scene where they're deliberating upon like, we really should separate the mental health uh, patients from the non-mental, like from the purely physical patients because the paranoid schizophrenic ended up stabbing our blood clot patient and, and that test didn't pan out. Oh. They're just like, they're just, you know, having a time. It's revealed that the kid who revealed the coral reef thing from the beginning was the uh, the nephew of one of these pharmaceutical people. And we're all gearing up to have another family coming in to the resort, starting this over, getting their stuff. And uh, as this is happening, uh, Alex Wolf shows up and slaps the tray of cocktails down to the ground. And he's like, don't drink those. My name is Alex. W or, well, he doesn't go. My name is Alex Wolf. Yeah, he my goes, name is Alex Wolf, the actor. <laughs> He goes, I, I was, I was, it ends like the holy mountain. It just zooms out and you can see all of the camera crew and, and everybody just fucking leaves. Yeah. So he says, he says, uh, I was six years old yesterday. My family died on this beach. This beach is fucked up. It makes you old. And everyone's like, <gasps> like, oh no. And uh, do they believe him? Well, no, they're like weirded out. But the, um, the book that they found, the journal that was found was given to like a police officer on the on the uh, resort and he uh he takes the book and he's like making phone calls to the authorities while this is happening and uh everything bad is happening to this pharmaceutical company that was using the beach to test people good i guess i guess yeah it's good and so uh the movie ends with uh the boy and the girl in a helicopter they're getting taken away and they're going to live with their aunt and they're like, uh, you know, your aunt's, uh, your aunt's gonna take care of you from now on. She seemed really distressed on the phone. And Alex Wolf says, this is his last line in the movie. He says, well, what would you do if a six year old or if a 50 year old man called you up and said they were your six year old nephew? What if you do if you old? <laughs> what if you, what would you do if a breach, if a beach made you old? <laughs> what if you were old? The answer is old. <laughs> what if we were old? <laughs> Why would you name? Okay, so I know that the movie is based on a comic book called Sandcastle. Why would you change the title? Sandcastle is a good name for a movie. Old, old is a terrible name for a movie <laughs> it is just the worst title for a movie ever yeah yeah exactly and so and so like this is the end of the tale of the beach that makes you old it ends with uh with weird pharmacy it ends like a Shyamalan movie uh <laughs> Shyamalan of course he had to there's, I don't know why, but this feels exactly the same as Glass. Yeah. <laughs> they don't they don't have any, like, plot similarities at all. Mm. But just the way that the, like, uh, the whole thing of, like, institutions and, like, medical companies and stuff are dealt with is, is the same. I feel like Shyamalan thinks he has a lot to say. About Big Pharma? About Big Pharma, but he doesn't really know. Like, he's, he's taken it too many degrees removed from reality, so you're like, okay. That's what I'm saying. How, like, what is the message behind, you know, if Big, if Big Pharma discovered a beach that makes you old? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying this is what yeah. they do. Like, it's not like <laughs> something like Resident Evil, where it's just like, oh, we inject you with this juice, and it turns you into a zombie. Because we love to make money and we're selling this to like 
I don't know. I I don't know what Umbrella's deal is, but like it makes sense with them. I don't because like you can they make fucked up. you can make diseases in a lab. So the, you know it makes it makes sense. There is no real life equivalent to the beach that makes you old. Yeah, and the thing too is that all this is is human testing just quicker. Like if this is a commentary on human testing, like. Or like human testing the drugs. Like I, I don't know. You're supposed to test on people, right? Like what are you? What what else do you do? What is Shyamalan saying? Like test it on animals? It well no. What he's saying is don't test in a way that makes people old. But that's like <laughs> on a beach. <laughs> yeah, like he's he's taken it and it's so removed from reality that it's like I have no idea what he's trying to say. It's almost like he's saying, hey, don't test drugs. Just full stop. Just don't do it. Don't, don't, don't medicine. Don't medicine. Don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> that, yeah, that, I mean, maybe the title of this movie should have just been don't. <laughs> don't. Don't. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. So, so don't it. do it. So, so it. <laughs> uh, all right. Any final thoughts on, uh, on what you thought of my explanation of the movie old Meg? <sighs> I feel like I've seen it, man. Like, I feel like I was there. <laughs> getting old <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're all a little bit older now yeah oof that's some time we'll never get back from the beach where yeah. you be old <laughs> exactly yeah we can all rest assured that at least an hour passing in this video is is less time than the beach that made you old yeah thank you guys thank you so much of course of course I can't wait. I can't wait for uh, old two, older, <laughs> old two, older, <laughs> old, old three, oldest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a whole trilogy, baby. Man, I love old movies. <laughs> oh, I love old movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until then, this has been the Dire Gentleman Channel. I've been Gus Thank Agarella. You so much, and I've been Mike Juden. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hey, you're not getting any younger, so <laughs> post a comment and tell us how old you feel. Tell us how old you would be if you were on the beach. <laughs> that makes you feel old. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye.